Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Let's Play. Today we're throwing down with the Arcs of Omen Abaddon, which is the new campaign book using the Boarding Actions terrain set. Now if you want to check out the GMG review of this book that also goes up today, I'll link it up in the cards. Uh, you can check it out. Uh, but today we're just going to throw down a bunch of different games. You'll see them over the next couple weeks. But we're starting off with a classic. It's a space hulk filled with orcs and the Ultramarines are going to board it to attempt to neutralize it and keep it from crashing into a planet to bring death and destruction. So I've painted up the Boarding Actions set. Uh, we We've thrown it down, I've zhuzhed it up a little bit with some of my old Kill Team Arena terrain just to kind of like have some scatter in there. So there's some stuff that doesn't come in the box, but I, I, I can't help myself. I'm gonna make the table look nice. I'm also using like eighth edition objective markers. So, you know, it happens. <laughs> but um, the wall set itself is just what comes in the box along with the two tiles. I uh, will show you the armies, we'll show you the mission and we'll get this underway. All right, so it is all painted up with the boarding actions terrain set along with our two armies. Like I said, the scatter is all just the stuff from Kill Team Arena. Uh, if you want to get in the Wayback Machine, but it was literally designed for a game like this. So it's kind of perfect, like crate stacks and little like uh, conduits and stuff. So it's just coloring our objectives. Uh, so this train is all set up for mission at number one. But let's jump through and talk about the basic rules of boarding actions. So boarding action boards are all divided into tiles and zones. They're outlined here. Each tile is basically used to pre-measure like deployments um, and certain things can revolve around holding certain tiles too on the deployment map. So it's important to realize this grid matters. Boarding action terrain itself, two types of hatchways, open and closed. There are special actions for the mission. Um, and the setup's kind of important. When you need to align walls, you align them with the posts on these squares. Uh, and the grid itself has a map numbering and lettering all of the tiles so that you can tell where each thing needs to go. So you will need to take, don't glue your stuff together because you're gonna have to take it apart and put it back together again uh, to do the various map layouts, but then you can throw scatter in as you like. Right, so the rules themselves, again, we went through this in the GMG review of the books. If you wanna get super detailed into it, um, you can go and watch that. I'm just gonna do an overview. Battleforge CP bonus and stratagems. In boarding action battles, at the start of each player's command phase, both players before doing anything else gain a CP. Players can use their command points to use boarding action stratagems. Uh, any stratagem with boarding action labels, they can't use any other stratagems. So nothing, no relics, no enhancements, no nothing. Uh, no buying extra war gear. Boarding actions are a unique sort of like game style and we only get what's gonna be in the boarding action stuff. Now, there is reference in these books to the fact that the further arc supplements uh, are going to have uh, faction specific like stratagems and faction specific enhancements and stuff too. So that you basically will be playing like kind of two different kinds of 40K. There's like mainstream 40K out of your codex while your stratagems and like um, relics and artifacts. And then boarding actions will be their own little self-contained like pool of those same things. So when you buy your enhancements, you use your stratagems, they'll be in here. But this first book is important because it has all the core rules and missions for boarding actions and everything later on is gonna build off this. Measurements, if you wanna measure, you have to measure around all the walls and obstructions. When a door's open, you can measure through it. When it's closed, you cannot, it counts as a solid wall. Um, if you have any kind of auras or powers, they are also measured around, including psychic powers. So no like brain bulleting through walls, you have to measure the whole distance. Your range is also slightly different through doors. When you are engaged, you are engaged if you are within two inches of a model that's engaged in a door, it makes fighting through doorways a little easier. So models themselves can be engaged when they're within an inch of each other through a door, but then um, the th supplemental like throwing rocks and stuff can be within two inches of that model. It makes fighting through doors a little bit more deadly, but they're a little less like line of sight block. Uh, walls and visibility, like I said, uh, are blocked by walls, closed hatchways, or a model that is not part of the observed models unit. So your own model, other models in your army and enemy models can block line of sight. Getting attacks is also done differently. If the attack is successfully wounds, the player commanding the target unit allocates the attack to one model in the target unit as follows. If a model has uh, already lost one or more wounds, or has already had attacks allocated to it during that phase, the attacker must uh, allocate the wounds to that model. Note that it does not matter if that model is in engagement range or visible. So if someone's wounded, regardless if you can see it or not, they have to take the wounds because there's no like having one wound here, one wound there in 40K. But if no one's wounded in the unit, <laughs> yeah, it's anymore. Um, if the attack is a range attack, then the attack must be allocated to someone you can see. So if only two models are poking out to a unit, then you can only kill those two models and any further wounds are gonna get lost. The thing is, everything's assumed to be in cover in a boarding action, all the time. Everyone, when you make your saves in cover, unless you can see the entirety of their base. So you have to be able to see everybody or every part of a model for it not to be in cover. So even the slightest obstruction gives you a cover save in this, meaning you're playing with small armies, but they are slightly more durable. 
anything that allows you to ignore cover ignores its advantage. So like anything that has the ignore cover rule and says you don't get the benefits of a cover save. Um, I think it's always considered to be light cover. Even a type of cover, it's just plus one saving throw. Weapons that can be fired even if the target's not visible, such as mortars, cannot use those rules in boarding actions. So you can't fire through the ceiling with a mortar. Even mole mortars don't know where to go. They get lost in the sub-basement. Moving through open hatchways, they count as unobstructed. So even if your base doesn't fit, you're considered to be able to fit through because their army building restrictions make it so that you couldn't take a giant base anyway. So anything you can take in a boarding action can fit through a hatchway. Um, objective markers, uh, you control if you're within one inch as opposed to within um, three inches, like in a normal game of 40k. At the start of the battle, every objective marker counts as contested, and so is not controlled by either player. Unless noted otherwise, a player will control objective marker at the end of any phase if they have more models in range of it than the opponent. Players can only affect models that are in line of sight, no matter what it says. If a psychic power would inflict mortal wounds in the closest enemy model or unit, and that enemy model is not visible, then that power affects the closest model that's visible instead. You can only charge what you can see, so if you don't have line of sight, you can't charge around corners. In boarding actions, a unit that's eligible to perform a heroic intervention can only do so if the closest enemy unit is visible, so you can't heroically intervene around a corner. Pile and consolidation. In boarding actions, each time a unit piles or consolidates, the first model moved must end its movement within engagement range of at least one enemy model. Each time a model makes a consolidation move, it must end that move within engagement range of a model that is visible to its unit when it started that move. If that's impossible, no model can make a pile in or consolidate during the phase. So I can't even use my cheeky um, custodies enhancements, I don't think, to... Actually, you can't even buy them, but the one, any kind of like trait that would allow you to pile in away or in a different direction, you can't use. Extra actions, too. Secure sight. This is a really important one. Basically, it's uh, you start at the end of your movement phase. Um, if you have the objective secured ability, and it ends at the beginning of your next uh, command phase. So you have to be, stay there until the end of the turn. And if you perform that action, uh, the objective counts as staying secured even if you move away from it later on. So basically you can secure the room, which is kind of cool. So because we have low unit counts, it's useful sometimes to sit around, secure an objective, and then be able to move away from it and get back into the fight. Set overwatch. Before the end of the move unit step of your movement phase, the action is completed at the end of your turn. If completed until the end of your opponent's next turn, that unit's set overwatch. Each time an enemy unit is set up on the battlefield or ends a normal move in advance, a fallback move or a charge move or opens a hatchway, um, units from your army that have set overwatch uh, can fire overwatch at that enemy unit. So even if you're not engaged with them, you can overwatch if they just move in a line of sight of you when you set overwatch with an action. So you can make choke points. And when people move in the line of sight with you, you can fire overwatch at them, but it counts as overwatch still, right? Well, like a normal shooting attack, but only ever hits on a modified roll of six. A unit can't fire overwatch while enemy units are within engagement range of it, unless fire overwatch the unit that just finished making a charge move. In this case, it can do so even if other friendly units are within engagement range. After it's fired overwatch, it must complete the set overwatch action again to fire it again. So you can basically bait out the overwatch and then have it be gone and then move in something else. Sub, it's completed at the end of your turn. It's completed until the end of your opponent's next turn. Uh, you get set to defend your plus one to attack rolls if someone charges. Well, it would cost a CP normally in normal games of 40k. You can set up as an action. And the idea here is that if you're defending somewhere, you want to be able to like hold your ground and have the opponent have to come to you because there's so much line of sight blocking in this. Last one's operate a hatchway. One or more units from your army can start to perform this action at the end of their move. Um, if they're within one inch of a hatchway, this action can be performed by any unit that's not in engaged range of the enemy, even if they're being affected by a rule that would normally prevent them from performing actions. And it's completely the end of your movement phase if no models are within one of the hatchway. So basically you just walk up, set the action, and then it's done at the end of your movement. At the end of your movement so somebody can't move through it later on. So you can't have like one unit move up, open the hatchway, and another movement like go through. Hatchway opens, units on opposite sides of that hatchway now find themselves in engagement range with each other. And then each of those units will be eligible to fight, but neither counts as charging. It's special stratagems, these are what you have access to. Command reroll works just like a reroll in 40k. Counteroffensive, use this uh, after an enemy unit has fought this turn, select one of your eligible units to fight with it next. You can do the interrupt still. And insane bravery for two CPs. Use a strategy before you take a morale test. Automatically pass, you can only use it once. Enhancements, in boarding action, you cannot use warlord traits or relics. Instead, you can select a boarding patrol, your warlord, can be given a single boarding action enhancement from those listed below. Named characters can't be given them. So superior boarding tactics. Before the battle, in the generate command points step, you get two additional command points. You can start with three instead. Close quarters killer. Each time you make a melee attack, reroll the wound roll. Defensive linchpin. While friendly units within six of the bear, each time a model in that unit fires overwatch, it can hold steady. Expert breacher. This bear can perform or operate uh, actions hatchway when they're selected to make a normal move, and they do so. That action is completed immediately and cannot be performed again this turn, but uh, if there's anything within one of you, you count as being in melee. 
Uh, the bears cannot perform an operate hatchway again later the turn, but it, it happens immediately so you can still move through it later on. When you're selected to move, which means before you actually move the model, the door pops open and you can move through afterwards. It open right away versus... Uh, well, it's still open right away. Yes, yeah, so it open at the end of the at the end of the phase. So I guess someone you could use it to have somebody else. Actually, no, I don't think you could, because it says when you are supposed to make a normal move, it's immediately performed. So you have to start next to the door, pop the door, and then move through. Other units could then later on move through it in the same turn, which is which is useful still. And then personal teleporter when the bear arrives from strategic reserve, you can set up either wholly within one of your entry zones or anywhere in the battlefield more than nine. Trademark weapon when you select this enhancement, select one weapon that the bear is equipped with and add one to its strength and damage. Mustard our boarding patrols. It's basically a patrol roster, but there's no minimums. So there's zero to one HQ, zero to three troops, zero to three elites. There's a bunch of restrictions on top of that. You can only have um, things that aren't monsters, vehicles, jump pack, cavalry, biker, or fly, which does restrict some armies quite a bit. Um, and you can only ever have one character. So even if your character is like not an HQ and it's an elite choice, you get a single one. Its minimum size is less than five. The, you can upgrade it to have a maximum of five models. And if its minimum unit size is five, then you can upgrade it to a maximum of 10. And if it's a minimum unit size 10, that's the most you can take. So no big fat 20 man units clogging up the hallways. To Warlord and one of their enhancements from the previous page and then determine your points total, which can cap out at 500 points. So here's mine. Uh, we've got my chaplain leading my group here. He's gonna have the super duper um, weapon enhancement so that he can uh, bang guys with his crowies even better. Um, and then we also have in his patrol two troop choices and two elite choices. So I have a unit of uh, assault intercessors with a plasma pistol on the sergeant and regular intercessors with a thunder hammer on the sergeant. Then I've got a unit of reavers and a unit of blade guard veterans. And that's exactly 500 points and they're all ultramarines. So we can still fall back and shoot, and we can also um, get plus one to our leadership. And it, I mean, we'll be able to rapid fire if we move, but I don't think a range of rapid fires can be a problem in boarding actions. <laughs> Here's Nick's orcs. It's all commandos, uh, led by the sneaky Scarlet Smasher. You're, uh, is he a big boss? What is he? He's just a war boss with a with a combi flamer and a power claw, and he's big and naked. <laughs> big and naked. His big shirt was wrong. <laughs> he's sneaky because he just kills everybody that sees him. Sweet. And then what else we got? Uh, two units of Beast Boys, Beast Nega Boys as troops. One, two. Um, a unit of ten commandos because you can take a unit of five up to ten. Yep. Uh, they have just, this is the only claw guy. Don't listen to this guy. He's, he's, he's stupid. He's, he's not here. But you have the Breacher Boy. I do have the Breacher Boy because I thought it was fitting. It is very And funny. then I have unit of five burners. Sweet. And that's your 500 point boarding patrol. On the nose. I, I assume we're in your house right now. You live here and we're just visiting. Mission one, Access Junction Primus. As they battle through the blazing decks of the contested vessel, two opposing forces approach one another from either end of an arterial access corridor. Whoever can press forward and drive their enemies back will have the opportunity to secure this crucial transit route. From here, they can access vital systems and adjoining decks throughout the ship and likely seize the entire vessel. The knowledge that both sides are battling for so vital a strategic prize only makes the fight all the more savage. Underdog bonus. If one player is the underdog, that player can uh, begin the battle with additional CP. Uh, 30 points are more different if someone has less uh, points vice, just because it's sometimes hard because points are blocky to make a full 500, then you get the bonus. Objectives, capture the junction. Uh, at the end of the player's command phase, a player whose turn it is scores five DPs for each of the following to 15. Control one or more objectives, control two or more, control more. So it's just like regular 40K. And then purge the ship is an end game. At the end of the battle, each player totals the points value of their opponents that have been destroyed. Note that if the unit was split when forming boarding squads, then only one of those subsequent split units was destroyed. Then only um, the point cost of the models that were destroyed are added to the total, and scores 15 points for each of the following conditions. Uh, so 125 or more, 250 or more, 375 or more. It's worth 45 for this one, and then it's worth, I think, a maximum of, because it's five turns. 10-man squads can be split into five-man squads over the course of the game, which means all your orc boy squads can split up. <laughs> and that's a really useful ability in boarding actions, because armies that have base 10 units have a hard time controlling objectives, and this is going to allow you to have some guys camp and some guys move forward. It also, it also, yeah, it also means you can fit in your deployment squares because for a lot of this, it's hard to fit in your deployment squares. We're just going to go through the missions, but it is like a two d three method for doing it. We're just going to go through them in order when we play through. Um, we've created the battlefield and put down our objective markers. So one, two, three, four. Remember, it's one inch to control them. Um, and we have to determine our attackers and defenders. So I can't split any squads because I only have fives, right? But Nick can happily split. So you're going to split up one of your beast nagas? <laughs> All of them. All of them are going into fives? Yeah. Okay, sweet. All right, I'm into it. Um, and then we have to determine attacker and defender roll off. The attacker and defender's entry zones are listed on the map. 
Yeah. You got a orc. Six. I got a four. So you can choose to be attack or defender. Attack. Okay. Oh. Those zones are over on this side, and it's gonna be. Uh, it's this square, this square, this square, and this square. Yeah, with the least deployable army to try and fit <laughs> ten guys in because all their arms are just sticking out to and each other. And they're on thirty-two, and I yeah. just have fifty models. Yeah. Oh, actually, like. 35, I I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm not super worried if they're all completely in this zone. One command point, and that's it. The commanders actually have their advanced deployability. Uh, anything that can deploy outside your deployment zone can go up to six outside of a deployment edge. Um, but the way the objective rules work, you don't uh, flip the ownership of an objective until the end of the phase in which you move next to it. So even if you can advance deploy someone next to an objective, because you score objectives at the start of the phase instead of the end of the phase, you, you don't end up controlling it on turn one. Well written, because you can never actually like grab the objectives before you can grab the objectives. So now we roll for first turn. Yeah. I got a six. I got one. Hooray, to the ultramarine. Begin the movement phase. All right, so I gain a CP, both of us do, in each player's command phase. Even though you start with one, you get 10 over the course of the game, which is a lot. My reaver's gonna move up, and they're going to start the open door action. We're gonna go with some ultramans, and they're gonna move up six. Take the point. And they're going to set overwatch. Use handy tokens for who set overwatch. Advancement chaplain, he likes to run. Oh yeah, one inch. Oh no. Uh, I'll chaplain. use my CP reroll. Heck yeah. Down to one. Uh, he's gonna run 12 inches. Oh, he did the thing. No, oh, I did the thing. So oh, we're gonna no. go eight and then four more. He's so mad. Be over here. Blade guards, gonna do the same thing. Blade guardian Leviosa. Blade guardian Leviosa goes not quite as far, but more than far enough to meet up with the boss. Oh no. That's a private scrap. That's it. We're gonna go danger close. The assault intercessors are also gonna walk up and start to open this door. Assault that door. That's right. We're gonna assault the door. So at the end of the uh, action phase, the door is now open. Could charge through the door now that it's open in the charge phase if you wanted to. My turn one. So charge phase. I don't know anybody charge. Or sorry, shooting phase, I said overwatch, so I guess I can still shoot? I would have my action. So, I ran, I only have a pistol, I ran, I only have a pistol. And that's all you. You got a CB? I have so many CBs. I'm not walking this turn. Okay, Basically, you're gonna walk? That's not fair. This turn. Uh, so, these guys will go over here and start to open this door. Smart. These guys come up to here and open this door. Justin! Stupid locked doors. They go up to this one, and they're gonna open this door. Game, the game of opening doors. Run commandos. Reroll? That's okay. Okay. They go, actually, they're slightly faster than orcs. They go six. So oh, nice. They will. Go go hold the zone? Nope, not get shot. Not get shot is also smart. Idiots, they're gonna hold the zone. Ah, oh, come on, guys. I mean, you have a million CPs. I will CP this. Yeah. Yeah, hey. just like you. Go on 11 with their slightly longer orc legs. So you're definitely gonna get cover. But you definitely I, get the best. And I will definitely last you. Yes, so we shoot 30. <laughs> now we can rapid fire because we have um, uh, the ultramarines rule. So we stand, or we made a normal move last turn, which means we can move and fire. So hit only on sixes though against these bros with our sweet, sweet bolters. I hit twice and I'm strength four. Toughness five. Orkies on fives. I got you once at minus one. Well, uh,. I'm behind a wall, so I get the... Plus one save for being in cover, because I can't see all of you. Is, that's not considered light cover, that's like wall cover, It's right? just a plus one to your armor save, so you I, get cover. I yeah. ask because I get light cover as a blood axe if you're over 18 away from me. Oh, then yes. So then I get both. Then you get both, yeah. So one armor save at... My... Oh, no, it, it is a cover save. Okay, it's just awesome. a, it's just not considered light or dense. So it's a six up. It's one or the other, yeah, it's a six up. Ah, so, Best form of cover, but your blood axe is just getting it for free anyway. That's my Overwatch token. And we use the action from the brew book, yay! We'll continue advancing. All right. These guys. Ah. Don't one. Can't use it again. Open a door. Knock, knock, son. Yes, advance. You gonna snag the beasts? It's the tunnel of death. And bus. One nine. Engine, engine, number nine. All right, well, that looks like movement phase for you. Shooting phase? Yeah, Your turn. It, was, it was a joke. <laughs> uh, battle shock, or uh, not battle shock, uh, morale. Ooh. Why didn't I 
Is that bad? You lose one? Yes. Oh no! Double half though. So only losing more on ones. I shot the best of them. I shot the I shot the favorite one. Oh no! That's okay. They're still in the zone. So to start of the round. I will score five. No, fifteen. Sorry. And those doors open. That's right. Oh. It's okay. I'm sure it's fine. We open the doors. The more easily they will open in the future. The more they I'm open. hoping. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Oh, so start my turn. I gain a CP. You gain a CP. Oh, you used one. Actually, for that re-roll for the chest. That's right. So you should be at three as well. Round two out of five. So time to do the thing, uh, which begins with the moving. These guys are going to come through. Going six. The run is not a normal move. We're going six. So we're not going to quite make it to the door again. So I might as well run. Yeah, I was going to say. And go far. Ah, they know what's up. They definitely know what's up. These fools, uh, they're also going to run and go two, so they go eight. So I know they get to the next door. To hold the zone. Going to run. <laughs> I use my CP. Reroll it. Five, that's what I want. And two. He's going to go 11. Uh, and he's going to go... Three, that's right, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven doesn't make it. We'll just go to cover. Guard will also run. Oof. Oof. All day. So I know they can just go party with him. Oh, they want to go in the open. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care about no man. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get him. Back up. Everybody else. And just hold the, the 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 super zone, the home base. We'll once again set the Overwatch. You guys will both trigger the door opening, uh, which it will now do. Surprise! Surprise! We're gonna Kool-Aid man through. In phase, they ran, but these guys have 18-inch pistols, so I might be able to see the burners. No. That's my turn. I got no charges because I ran and everybody else is ready to fight. So it's your turn too. Uh, CBs. Uh, and you get a five. Uh, a big log. Uh, All right, logging up. Uh, log, 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 log. Log. Okay. First thing, the uninteresting one. These guys that are in the door, they run two, which is seven. Which is enough. Which is one inch away from the door. <laughs> Hooray. Everybody door kicking. Door kicking the same turn, which Man. means I couldn't do it either. I have to do next turn. That's true. Yeah. So they're just up against the wall. Oops. Pretty good. Actually, oh crap. I have to move my big guy first. Okay, go for it. <sighs> but I already started moving them, I feel bad. Okay, just just conquer them then. They'll... Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. 40k is... Just conquer them. Tw two, two inches. Yeah. And they're only five man units, right? So yeah. coherency doesn't matter. Okay. okay Thank good. God for all the units splitting in this, because that way we don't have to do the stupid coherency triangles, and cause that would make this game miserable. <laughs> big boss? More boss. Yeah! One ten. All right, let's shoot them. I meant to shoot them. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, because I can't shoot the character because it's characters. So it's going to be 10 shots again. Rapid firing. 5, 10. Explaining my overwatch into the beast snaggers. Hit on sixes. I got three this Whoa. time. But I only went on fives because your toughness five now because orcs are tough. Now we added up to five. These commandos. Go on eight. Maybe I'll use a little two. Yeah, way easier. <laughs> way easier to use gauges. Six. Uh, that's an eight. That's eight so four. you could go, so go four, and, four and then two more. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll just kind of muscle in behind. Yeah. 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 They make this charger. They're. they're I was gonna say, yeah, the closest guy is the one that matters. Out. Commando's gonna run through. Yep. Mm, I have five C. What is this game? I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Ah! still on. Down to four ZVs. Well, we haven't used them for anything, right? Because we're not using stratagems that, like, insane courage and stuff. And okay, interrupt fight. Interrupt fighting is gonna happen in a second, for sure. Hope Flamer is gonna shoot the guns because you As ran. I make sure I don't stick my foot in my mouth here. No, it is. It's still assault. It's assault D D three, I think. I assault D six. Got it. Yes. Yeah. So let's see what he gets. 
Six shots. Sure do. Uh, Who's it into? Blade Guardian Leviosa. Okay. Uh, toughness four, strength five. So four. Four? Minus one, but space remains, so. Minus one, but I have covered because we're obstructed by the crates, and also I have plus one for the shields. So I'm on twos. Ha! Two yes. I make these dice work. I don't know why. Because <laughs> they match my ultra brains, that's why. That's why. Any other guns? Uh, nope. Charge. Okay. Uh, we got them. With the commandos. Seven. Seven looks like. All day. Very good. Did they run? Oh, because you wad, you can do yes. it. In, that's right. Yes. So, they'll just get in. Start the bludgeoning. The bludgeonation. Then, we'll try... Can I, do I still hold this objective before I walk off? That's, that's that, that nope. No, you, I don't. It's yeah, okay. you, you have to, you have to continuously hold it or use the secure action, right? Uh, so walking out and doing the secure action would be cool. So these guys could have done it or can do. Did they run? No, they're just, they didn't move at all. This then time. they could have started to perform the secure action. Okay. Yes. They will try to secure that. Okay. So backing up to the end of the movement phase, they will secure this one. They have to still be the, at the end of your command phase to have done so. And what we'll do is we'll use these for the secured ones. What about charge? Okay. Hello, Mr. Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin. My big damage, Crozius. Watch out. He's got it all. <laughs> I'm going to go for the commandos first. Commanding the commandos? I'm yeah, right. I feel like I have a 5 up bin one save. He's probably like, ooh. Actually, does that make the commandos better? Oh, I forgot to run chant with him. Vision of rage. No, then you off. So charge complete, who's gonna go first? Blade guard, so they get two attacks each, one for Wag, one for Choppa. So I'm gonna do the four Choppa guys first, and then we'll do Breacher Ram guy. Sounds good. So hit Actually, on. Actually, with, with one guy, one wound Breacher Ram, Ram guy first. Okay. Uh, this is twos because they're within six of the boss, and then threes because they're the same as you, and then they get plus one to wound because they're within one of the train. You got it, from throat slitters. They all hit, I'm not goths, so no exploding. Okay. No wounds. Okay. Plus two. Plus two blood. makes it wounding on threes. Yeah. And then plus one from their ability makes it wounding on it's two. It's plus one to wound, yes. not plus one strength. Yeah, yeah. Then you got it. Yeah, two. So two. Minus. Minus two. Minus two. Okay. I'm minus two plus one. So minus one overall. And that's going to make three plus go to four, four plus. Yeah. Pass one. You killed a Blade Guard veteran. Other guys. There's going to be twos and threes. That was a very good, my boss standing beside them buff. Definitely. Three. Ooh. That was not so good. Cruel, but just. Two, four, seven. six, seven. Uh, mods? Uh, minus one, so nothing. So nothing, so threes. That's Game right. Space Marines armor contempt directly after. Oh, I'm armor contempt. Oh, but my shield is armor contempt. It, it bounces out. I don't get plus two, right? No. So three wounds. So that's another one down. Spend two to interrupt, down to two CPs, and we're going Crozius Chaplin, so he's got four. Uh, shock Assault for an extra one for five, hitting on twos. Hits with everything. I'm also just going to consolidate these guys really quick. Oh, sure, go for it. And then I'm Strength four, goes to five for my Super Relic that I just took, and then six, seven, because I'm uh, using a Crozius. So it's toughness. Toughness six or threes again. Moving on threes. That's looking like two at minus one. Three damage. So five ups. I need to make both. <laughs> or one, sorry. He's good. Goons. So he's got a grand total of three left? Yep, he's a sixer. Back. Six for a uh, walk. Plus one weapon skill, plus one weapon skill because of his buff. Because he's a clan character. So it's going to be uh, twos and twos, I think, because I'm strength ten. You got it. I'm talking through four. Everything? Okay. Bye bye. I will Four. see. Four? CP reroll one. Okay. Eh. Down three. Okay. So four. Five. Five. Minus three, two damage each. So he is three plus save, armor contempt to two plus. Minus three makes it a five, but I got a Rosarius for four plus. So four plus, give me that invulnerable. Uh, how much damage? Oh, two damage each. So I'll CP one. It kills me, no matter what there. Even though I CP it, I still die. So he just gets exploded. And that's Mr. Blade Guard Veteran. Four attacks, five because you charged me, because I'm a Blade Guard Veteran. Hit on threes. Uh, and then strength five with my Relic Sword. Just five. Fours. One. Uh, I might as well CP one. Yep. I do. 
Okay, so two. Down one CBs. Uh, five up for the walk. Minus three? And one save for That's the right, for walks. That's right. Dead. Nope. Oof, I should have CP'd one of those wound rolls to try and kill this guy. <laughs> I, I just realized I could have CP'd one of my rolls to wound. Um, all right, well, I'm leadership good. I'm okay. I'm leadership okay, okay as well. Uh, and that looks like turn. All right, start of three. And then I score for, the, or I did score. Start of your stuff, command right? phase. Yeah. Start of your command phase, you'll score stuff. Well then, we are alive, but barely. So I'm gonna gain a CP. And you're gonna gain a CP. I'm gonna score one for 15. Movement phase. This guy's gonna fall back. He's gonna fall back to here. Boop. These guys are going to move. Uh, these guys are going to move just so they're all like able to see through the door when it opens and perform the door open action. They're just gonna sit still. Uh, doors open in my movement phase. So now I can see. Surprise. Boop. And that one opens. I'll start blasting. Uh, so start with the guy who fell back. He's gonna take a shot into that dude Whoa. at minus one. Lay off four in the flamer boy. I hit, I went on a five. Yeah. I'm gonna CP it. No. I can make this action fail if I kill him. On a five, I might be strength. If I have a big pistol, I might be strength five. Four, it's the AP minus one on the range 18, that's amazing. Um, I should've thrown a grenade. Well, let's uh, let's do some more guns. These five are all gonna shoot into the breach boy. Uh, so ten shots, hitting on three. Maybe we should get these two guys sitting on the crates first. That's fine. I don't know why they would. They're uh, the tactical <laughs> masters of the Imperium, but that's true. And then fives to wound. We go. Nothing. <laughs> one. Sorry, one. Yeah, I think it's time to retire these blue dice. These blue dice suck. Um, one save. Minus so one. It's minus one, and I'm uh, it's five. It's just five. It's five. Leave him there. All right, uh, we're looking at these jabronis are gonna shoot your boss. So two pistols. But that last guy can shoot this squad if he wants. Uh, sure. I'm oh. saying. Yeah, you're right. So these two into your boss, these two into him. Boss, and five to wound. One. Ah, yeah. laughs an orc. And then the other two into the, the beast tiger boys. One hit on a five. No. We can only see these guys, the beast snaggers. So it should be five shots on, oh, so there's a pause pistol that's not in range, only so just four shots. Can see through the door there. Okay, so two guys, I ignore my own squad though, remember. Yeah. Sounds good, just two, threes, and then fives, nothing. All right, well, charge a clock. Go get them, Reavers. Uh, the Reavers are gonna charge, I can only charge when I can see, so it's gonna have to be him. Uh, nine, that's it. definitely make it. Dun, dun. I gotta do is shank him and not lose this point. That's the plan. Uh, these guys are gonna attempt to charge. I don't think I can see anybody that I'm in range to charge. So the nobody. Charge. They can't. Oh no, this is an old game. They probably they can't charge. Uh, yeah, they'll charge. Why not? I run off the point. I might not run off the point. <laughs> I go six, and it should be within seven. Yeah. yeah. So I get my one inch. I'm just gonna just gonna do this. That one hammer. Just, the one hammer guy. In. We're just gonna go like that. <laughs> Great, but it's not terrible. Um, I'm gonna die over here if I don't do this, so I'm gonna punch Elias your face. 100%. I mean, like, I might get one single guy yeah. do one damage. I'll have I still will, I'll have 16 attacks. Alright, so it's gonna be 16 dice on threes, shocking the assault. Threes and fives? Uh, and then fives, yeah. Reavers, you're not great. Oh, this might be your moment, though. And then fives, I have to get three wounds here to kill him. So I need at least three five buses. Uh, how about, how about lot. lots instead? There's a lot. There's oh, no. six of them. Didn't choose all doctrine out loud, so I should have done that. Otherwise, I'll just say I'll just say, I'll save it for next turn, basically. Um, so combat knives are I don't think any kind of good. Yeah, no AP. Okay, uh, four ups. I mean, mathematically, he still dies here. That's true. But not when I'm blessed by more Invoy. Take another wound. I'm gonna in interrupt over here. I bet you are. Yeah. Go get him, preacher boys. Twos and threes. So two, no rend. Uh, twos. Armor contempt. <laughs> Take a wound. Oh, I should do the other way around. Yes, I do. Misplay. That's fine. Uh, That's well, good. That Maybe not that guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Breacher in. I'll hit. I. CB. Okay. Cool. Three saves at minus, minus two. two. 
All right, so uh, it's gonna be four pluses then. I did this the wrong order. I know. <laughs> yeah, retire the. Okay, let's play. <laughs> wow. Orcs kill space marines. Oh my god. Uh, I lost the zone. That was good. Uh, I guess we fight back. <laughs> oh, the Sarge, he's got three, four because he charged. Give him a thunder hammer. Hammer can slammer. Uh, dice. Two, and then strength eight, so twos. You got it re roll? Nope, I don't care. I'll save the reroll for this. There it's you also go. Two threes, but you got there. I got there, yeah. Oh, that's right, it was five. Yeah. One save. In all two. And the due to charge, three attacks on threes. And then on fives. Three oh, saves. Oh no! He's mad. He's I mad about three, his friends. Three five up. He's mad about his friends. Nope. Down. He's Louise. All right. Now, can I consolidate away? Is the question. You can. Just a close enemy model. That's right. Toward means that you're. Yeah, that's it. All right. Uh, get that's round. Get the crack back. Uh, oh, that's right. Your boss gets to fight still. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> is it twos? You're not charging. I just have one skill two. I'm minus one, but I get plus one from my own native ability. Mm, got it. Only or I guess impossible. Minus minus three. Okay, so fives and five of them. There's six. Get the full the full rack. Yeah, the full rack. Okay. Uh, I'll see. Try and save more than one. I save one. <laughs> so the sergeant's alive. Morale. Uh, I'm okay here, and then these guys. I'm okay. The low dice are good for something. I just killed the guys who died. Yeah, the, the, the people that could make a round test are all dead. So you're going to earn 15 again for that one. It completes and becomes secured. Because Burner Boys have OPSEC, right? Oh, no. The Beast Nega Boys do. I didn't know. I thought these guys, I thought they no, were. Yeah, you're right. You have to be OPSEC. Uh, so sorry, guys. Okay. I don't know. It's fine. That's okay. You could have moved someone else on to do it, though. The OPSEC units can stamp it forever. Our turn. We both gain a CP. I got a one. You got a two. And it's turn bottom of three. Move to the door. These guys also move up. So you can see to charge and shoot. There's two doors here. You can charge them both if you wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta paint them like objective color. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I, should, I should have actually thought to spray the doors a different color, but I did not. Street. Oh, you're the worst. Blood axes are brutal and cutting. I, I know. Charge. I know. Those guys open the door. These guys get waylaid by the crate. Walk around. Somebody else pushes the button. I don't care about pushing the button. These guys can just stand. Oh, see the beast thing is right there. Oh, yeah, actually, right. that makes more sense. Yeah. yeah. These guys will then walk up. I think the fl flamers are assault, so they can run. Sure. Okay. Sure can. Yeah. These guys do the thing. And you're like, ah, how didn't we see this guy's coming? Oh no! So the doors have all opened, and guns! Two shitty flamers at Blade, Blade Guard Veteran? Blade, Blade Guard Guy. Ten, Ten shots. No, uh, they're D3, not D6. No, they're D6 now. They're D6 now? Oh my gosh. Very four, got it. So On just fours, fours and then no rend. But. Not that it matters, because I will roll all the skulls. Yes. Five skulls. Five skulls coming up. One skull. Best I can do is one. <laughs> Alright, so down two. Ow. Big heavy guy at this guy. At these More commie scorcher? <laughs> Every time it's six shots. They're rolling hot today, guys. Hot. Hot. Who's on threes? Hot. Four? Four. All right, twos again. That's Because the armor of contempt. These guys. Yeah, on the officers. Another wound, just no, for you. They're only, um, they, they don't get. Armor of contempt? They're, uh, armor save three. Armor save three. Oh, you're minus one. Yeah. Okay, so one guy dies. I didn't realize they weren't. Also, no armor save. Or no, uh, AP. Here. Oh, I ignore. I thought you were giving me. I thought they had armor contempt for a plus one save. It's ignore minus one rat. Yes, it's ignore right, minus one. Right, right, right. It's like I'm getting it back. Negative. Backwards. It's like opposite. It's, it's to, opposite uh, armor save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I'll shoot the five pistols at this guy. Right in the blade guard veteran. Fives and fours. Okay, one. Do it, blade guard veteran. Uh, one, two plus. Ah. Actually, these blade guard veterans would have ignored more of the save when you went into them with the Breacher because your AP goes down and they get plus one save from their shield. So I would have gotten both. I was only counting one. I should have counted both. Shields don't get the armor contempt, that's right. Never mind. So for all those reasons, I was wrong. Pistols at him. 
Pew 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 pew. Do it. Continue. Just the, you get the super cover save. I will hide behind my thing. I, you can get roll ones this time. Or you roll three there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dang it. And pistols and his intercessors. That also are on twos now. Although, the Beast Nega boys have come to party. Two. Uh, two plus for the cover. Ha ha! Same. I'll CP that one. Boom. Oh, These were something here. Uh, charge A. Beast Nega boys down this hallway. Going straight out of Compton. Eight into yep. the river because yep. they can see him. And then obviously one guy on the point. Because he can pull back and charge. Him again. Sure. So, yeah. In you go. Back. That one? Yeah. Or commandos into Blager Veteran. Eight. Should be good. Yeah. Go into the door. Pop the hatch and charge. This is goggles. He's the most dangerous. Oh no, this is the one with it. Oh no, that's hatch, right. Hatch, hatch, and goggles. actually in charge, yeah. Has a stunt double. These guys need <laughs> a nine. Okay. That's a six, but here we go. Here we go. That's nope. less. Okay, into... That doesn't matter, no. They're gonna, they're gonna hang out. Okay. They're holding down the, the line. All right, they're the reserve. Okay. Uh, you're out of CP, so I can just kind of go, right? You can just go. All your chargers. We'll do the boss on, on Sergeant Hammer. He's gonna have a bad turn eventually. Hitting with... Big Deuce. claw, yeah. Deuce. Okay. And then twos again. Okay. Three. Uh, armor attempt for only minus two instead of minus three. Yeah. Uh, so I'm on five. fives. Nope, super dead. Is that like directly towards me? Yeah. Okay. So then these guys. Surprise. I, they don't get the cover plus one to wound because. You're then one of a train feature. That's the, that's. Oh, I guess everything is train feature. Oh my god, commanders are good in this, guys. Commanders Take are the commanders. really good, yeah. Take the commanders. Chabas. Plus one attack. So I'm going to be hitting on twos, wounding on twos. Okay. Because you're in your aura. Three, so I'm, I apologize. Three, I'm, I'm Those two, hit. Yep. And then and threes. One, two's go away. So. Five, ten. At minus. Nothing basically, minus one, so. Alright, so. It, it is something, because it'd be two plus otherwise. Right? I'm dead. There. Over here, fight the Reaver. Okay, Mr. Reaver. Same deal. It's the boss hitting on threes. They do have, yeah, okay. So these are threes and... Fourth. These guys are strength five, actually. Okay, that's because it'd be snaggers, that's right. And they went on threes. Into the Reaver. Five, ten. Any AP? Minus one, and then you have armor contempt. So I'll ignore that, so threes, yep. and you said it was ten okay. saves? Yep. Oh my god. I'm sure I'll be fine. It's because he didn't wear his helmet. Super dead. <laughs> Salt intercessors stand alone on turn four. CP, we own zero objectives this turn. Crunch. Uh, so let's do a move. We're just gonna come out to here. Lock and six. Being dudes. We'll shoot them in the open. So five shots. I want a plasma pistol. So regular pistols on threes, and then on fives, one at minus one. Nose. Goodbye. Plasma. Hits. Wounds. Yeah. At minus three. They get the six up and won't save on turn two of walk. Oh, okay. Sweet. Uh, and then we will, I guess, charge the beast naggers. We'll do a doorway charge. So we go five. So we charge in. And everybody within two of the door counts as being engaged, so we can still sit in the button. And we fight first! Uh, so they have four attacks each on the turn they charge with Strike Assault, or Shock Assault. Assault Doctrine, that's right, so I get extra AP, so I'm AP minus two, not the basket, you have an involve save. So five, ten, uh, fifteen. So there's twenty dice, I'll reroll one. Hit on threes. And my extra attack, I'll just reroll. And those go away. Uh, my sixes do not explode or anything. Moving on fives because I'm strength four. Any bonuses for chain swords? Nope. Uh, three saves. Great boys. Killed three. Yeah. Slap back. Uh, threes. 
Is this Lou Wong's turn? This is turn four. I... Oh, no, you... One of those guys is dead. Also, because you had no involve. Oh, no. Guys, you have an Because they, okay. they have a six plus save, goes to minus one. Yeah, yeah. So, the, so two guys would be dead there. And Unless then, I had cover, then I'd have a four. But then no, because you were completely, three, you're completely so. in the open, yeah. Okay, so now you only have three attacks coming back at me. So threes. Okay. And then fours. Uh, still threes. They are strike five. Strike five. Those are beast naggas. Two. Minus. Minus one. I ignore it. So threes. Whoops. Take up two wounds. Cool guy. And then I have back. Extra attack. Nope, no extra attack. We just went over that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, well, hit. Okay. And then. Big strength. Nothing. Uh, yes. Minus. This is minus two. So minus one, so four. Nope. Two damage. Yeah. I'm okay. Yep, that's My morale one. check. I lost one. I don't fail. I lost two. Uh, six is six. fine. Six. Seven, so you're good. These guys, they're also good. Command phase. Now this thing is secured. And it's good. For 30 for those two. And then it's starting around. We each got a CP. I got a one. You got to. Do... No, you also got a one. Four. Retreat. Move them in. Hmm. Bosco stand on button. <laughs> He's tired. He almost died to a Crozius. By the holy stick that I forgot to zhuzh up with prayers and also with uh, every, rolling my one roll to wound. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's single handedly responsible for carrying this orc invasion at this point, so I can't feel bad. Okay, two flamers. These guys. Do they want to start pushing a button? Might as well. Okay. Two yeah! <laughs> 2 d 6 flamer shots and then 12 shots. On force. Yeah! On fours. So six. Let's take an average or something. And I save them all. You get good dice? Occasionally I get good dice. <laughs> Pistola! I see you. I'll just roll all eight together because you have cover from all of them, I think. Yeah. There's train away of all of these models, yeah. So five pistol or eight pistols in total. Hitting fives. Wow, okay. Five hit. Wounding on fours. Okay. Three. Give me those three two up saves. Uh yep. Hey! The last four marines are standing on their ground. Charged by blood axes, Kooky. <laughs> Fall back and still charge. Hey. Yes. Guys. And they go. Here we go, here we go. Those beast nagas, they're just like, wait a minute. But we're good at fighting. These beast nagas. Yeah. Oh my god, somebody Let's players. play. This is like the beginning of the Dawn of War intro where uh, <laughs> everything's gone horribly wrong. Go around. Yeah, do go around the circle. Uh, I have nothing to interrupt with, so it's all you. Threes on this. I like it. And then nothing. Nothing. You get nothing. Two minus it's flat. So three. I'm good. Oh no, the plan. We're sticking it. The power, power claw. claw. This is the one that I. This is also minus one to hit. So two. Two. Winning on twos. Minus. Minus two. So it goes to minus one. It's so it's fours. Pass pass. We got one. So I'll re-roll this one then. No. So lose a guy. Power snapper on the beast snagger boys. Threes. And uh, threes. threes minus minus two. So, so this minus one's one. minus one. So fours. Uh, fell one. One more guy. It's two damage. That guy's gone. The guy. Chopper choppers. All hit. Three hit. Three wounds. Minus one rend. So no rend. Uh, threes. Oh, three wounds. Yeah. Okay. Take a wound. Another guy. And then there's no knob in this squad. One because they split. Yep. So it's just three attacks each. So fifteen attacks. Threes and threes from the beast, Nigger boys. Yep. Bad, bad, bad. Ten hit. Full house. Ten Full house. Ten, ten wounds. wounds. Oh my god. Uh, four, seven, and saving on minus one. So yeah. nothing. Yeah. So threes. That's the rest of them. Okay. Off they go. Uh, and that's gonna be game tabled at the bottom of four. So top of five. I score nothing. Uh, this completes objective secured. Bottom of five, you secure the remaining objective. And the Hulk belongs to the orcs. Would my CP reroll have killed him? 
No. <laughs> That's all I cared about. You had to go back. I had to go back in time and I, replay the I, game I, tape. I, I knew the same thing. I knew, I, would I have killed him? Would it have mattered? Apparently not. Um, so yeah, that was uh, that was rough on the Marines. Holy moly, orcs in a confined space. It's like Rorschach in prison. I wasn't. You were locked here with me. I was locked in here with you. Yeah. At first, <laughs> I was kind of worried about not having enough guys, but then once it's like turn three and I get to walk behind walls the entire way up, it's pretty you, tough. You definitely benefit from not being peppered, and actually, you really benefit from splitting your squads because I can only advance so many vectors, yeah. and, and you can't got, push the leadership on one squad. That's Exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. So I can't I can't just like out morale you and stuff like that. So orcs are pretty cool in this, I gotta say. Marines were neat, but I needed my squads to do way better individually. Um, and not neutralizing this guy, this like hurricane of destruction that is yeah, uh, that, that your big boss. Through, like, if that one extra wound went through on him, that I would have been in way worse position. I could have killed, you know, just killed him with the pistols. Your chaplain's doing exactly what my boss if, is doing, If right? the pistols had actually just killed him there with the Reavers, which they statistically should have, um, then, yeah, yeah, that would have been I had two chances at killing him. I beefed both of them, or dice just didn't go either way. And uh, and if he'd gone down, he accounted for everything. He yeah, accounted he for all three the squads. squads by himself. Yeah, exactly. So that was that was a really interesting first game. Obviously, this one's funneling us, and other missions will be slightly different because the um, arrangement of the rooms will be quite different. But with the slowing down of pushing through here, uh, I felt like I made all the right deployment choices, but I couldn't hold the middle long enough for the assault uh, detachments to get in, and then they just couldn't seal the deal. So there we go, at the end of the game, I got five twice. So first turn, second turn, I got five. And then that disastrous intercessor, intercessor charge basically took the rest away from me. I probably should have just secured that objective uh, in the first turn and not worried about it, not gone on Overwatch. Um, and that scored me 10 overall. Now the end game objective, I got tabled. So Nick got 15, 15, 15 for satisfying all three conditions. At the end, I got 45. And he got 35 over the course of the game for his actual holds which means that um, he got five the first turn, five the second turn, then 10, and then the full 15 on round five when he was on a post and he's just walking around. So with 35 to, um, sorry, 80 to 10 overall, 35 plus 45, uh, it was a resounding success for the Orcs as they took the Hulk and this deck was, uh, was, was basically maimed. So we'll be back in two weeks with another game um, and it's going to be the <laughs> Optimus Primaris Marines taking on my Necrons. So we'll see you for that one. It's called Deck Sweepers in two weeks. Still gonna mash. Have a good night. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games already recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already and have a look to the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. I put out new videos seven days a week and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continuing to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon who support the studio, equipment, and model cost, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Death Ray Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements like Last Days, Gamma Wolves, and Blaster. As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. Huge thanks for watching, it really does help out, and happy gaming.